I gotta say, folks, I am so excited, so excited because <laughs> Sarah Palin's endorsed Donald Trump because of course she did. <laughs> that was the next logical step. <laughs> okay, Trump, um, just as, you know, a little FYI there, uh, getting the endorsement of a woman whose biggest political uh, achievement is realizing she can see Russia from her house is not exactly, you know, that's not exactly the way to go about things. Sarah Palin <clears throat> proceeded to, uh, you know, stand at the podium in Iowa and just say some of the most random shit I have ever seen come out of a politician's mouth, including Bill Clinton. Um, Actually, it wasn't even Bill Clinton who was, who was the worst politician for random shit. You want to know who the worst one was? Everybody talks about Bush. It wasn't actually Bush. It was Ronald Reagan. Oh, my God. The shit that would come out of that boy's mouth. Hilarious. Um, I think one of my personal favorites was when she is standing there. No more pussyfooting around. Our troops deserve the best. He is from the private sector, not a politician. Can I get a hallelujah? Sweetie, I think you forgot that you're not at church. You're supposed to be a politician. Separation of church and state. Um, you know, I just, I, I got to say that some of the, the, I think, I think the best one, though, is when she says, the status quo has got to go. Otherwise, we're just going to get more of the same. <laughs> Did she hire George W. Bush's ex-speechwriters for this shit or what? <sighs> you know, I... I, I I just, I've got to say, I think it's hilarious that Sarah Palin, number one, felt that her endorsement for Donald Trump would be a good thing. And number two, that Donald Trump's actually happy about this. <laughs> Clearly, neither one of them has their finger on the pulse of politics these days, folks. Wow. But, you know, they go to the same hairdresser, so <clears throat> naturally they would meet. Why is Sarah Palin still relevant? Why, do, why, why, why? And what really cracks me up is later on, uh, you know, this morning, I actually read an article where her son, Track Palin, has been arrested for domestic violence. And the funny thing about this is, is that I'm, you know, I when my kids get up in the morning while they're getting ready for school, I read some of the news to them. And... You know, I I read Track Palin arrested for domestic violence, and I go, Track, where does she get her kids and my husband from the corner just out of a hat? <laughs> Which is probably the most, at least the most plausible explanation for where the fuck Sarah Palin's coming up with her kids' names. Sarah, sweetheart, honey bunch, would you please... Just retire to the mountains of Appalachia with your people. Just go away. You're taking down the collective IQ of the entire United States population. And quite frankly, you and Trump are the reason why everyone thinks we're a fucking joke. You're not helping. You know, you're very much like my three-year-old daughter who wants to help mommy cook dinner. I give her a potato and a paper towel and send her to the corner and tell her that that's how she's helping is she's scrubbing the potato for mommy. That's what you need to do. Somebody needs to hand this woman a potato and a paper towel and send her to the corner of the kitchen to help. Oh, dear God. This is going to be an interesting 2016 race, folks. And you're going to get all the commentary on that from me. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Oh, we'll see you next video, folks.